This is my Scott's electric pruner. It easily cuts and trims bushes and uh, branches where my hand pruner will not. And it makes clean cuts and not jagged pulled cuts. There's quite a few safety mechanisms. One of them is this cap, which I put on when it's not in use. Uh, when it's not in use, this is how uh, it would look. I'm not going to put the cap on right now, but it, it slips on and tightens in there and stays in. It doesn't fall off. When you want to use it, one of the safety measures is you have to press this orange lever down and then press this. So both have to be pressed at the same time. And if you put the cap on, even if you press this and this, it won't cut because the cap's there. So it's a nice safety measure. It's easy to plug in to the wall and charge. Back here is the where you plug it in. And it comes with an extension rod for $10. It's worth every penny. I highly recommend the extension rod. You can get up higher, you feel really secure, and it's tight and tight. I wish I had had this years ago. Um, I'm a pretty strong girl, and, uh, and I use my pruners a lot, but this really makes it easy. When you have to do cut after cut after cut, I trimmed maybe 40 pygmy palm branches the other day, and I did it in, I want to say, two-thirds of the time. And it makes such nice clean cuts on, on wood. So I highly recommend it and get the extension. It's worth every penny. This is a banyan tree branch cut that I did yesterday. And I wouldn't be able to hold a camera and show you this, but this is my thumb. And you can see how much bigger that is than the width of my thumb. And I was able to cut it very nicely. Um, this is a tiger bark ficus, and I'm going to do some trimming on the tiger bark ficus. show you. It's a little smaller than my thumb. I mean, that is so easy. I could never do that with non-electric pruners. These are air roots, in case you're wondering what those are on the tiger bark ficus. It's just loaded with Magnificent air roots. I think I'll take this one off. Move the air roots out of the way. Whoops, I don't know if I can. I'll try. Get around it. This is a low tiger bark ficus branch. These are air roots here hanging in the way. And this is a pretty thick branch. I'm going to probably have to cut it several times. It took quite a few cuts, but you can see how thick it is. This is a uh, Royal Poinciana. I just planted about, I want to say, two and a half, three years ago. And uh, I think at some point in time, I'm going to get rid of this lower branch right here. 
because she will send down shoots and I really don't want that. So I'm going to do this in several cuts just so I don't have a big heavy branch land on uh, the plants in this little uh, nursery I've got going here. Um, so we'll take a look at this, see how she does here. You can see that. And it's a little bigger than my thumb. See how it compares to my thumb. That just snapped that off easily. See how far back we can get with this. I might need a saw toward the end or do it in two cuts. This is pretty big. Yeah. But I'm doing it in several cuts and she's working. So I'm having to do this one three times but I got her off, and that's like easily twice my thumb. This is getting too hard for her. going to be too much for her but I got quite a bit back so you can get an idea at, at how really she will do a serious she will take off a serious branch easily this is a cut I made yesterday and I want to show you how big it is that's my thumb so it's wider than my thumb and I cut that off yesterday I never would have been able to cut that size with regular pruners.